I mean, they probably won't bother. We'll talk about that. Oh. It's dark down here. It's, it's quite. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ian J. Cole. Now, Apple are just about to launch their new operating system, which is called Catalina, uh, or otherwise known as Mac OS 10.15. The biggest change to this operating system to the previous, or the, if we shall say the current one, which is Mojave, is that it will no longer support 64 bit applications. Now, that can have a massive effect on some of the programs that you're running. What currently happens with Mojave is, although it's 64-bit architecture, you may have some 32-bit plugins that will still work in it, or there may be a 64-bit application piece of software that has got some elements of 32 bits in it. I mean, I've had two or three emails this week uh, from music technology companies. Roly sent me an email, uh, GeForce Software, uh, and, and Ableton Live, and all of those companies said, don't upgrade. Now, because currently some of their, I mean, certainly Live 9 will not work with Catalina. And certainly GeForce Software and Roly are saying that their current software programs are not compatible. Uh, so, and those are only two or three, there'll be a lot more. I thought it would be a really good idea to show you how you can check. Uh, I mean, certainly the advice, I mean, I will not be up updating mine because I have quite a few 32-bit uh, plugins which run perfectly okay on Mojave. Um, th there's one other thing. If you have um, a Zoom TAC 8 uh, audio interface, so you don't want to update Mojave past 10.14 because they're, they're incompatible, it doesn't work. Mine currently works fine on 10.14, but there's, there was an update recently, and I haven't, uh, and that's a Mojave update, and I haven't done, any, I haven't done anything about changing that, because I know full well the minute I've installed it, that my Zoom TAC 8 won't work. And apparently Zoom are working on a fix for that. Um, I mean, they probably won't bother because they're gonna, you know, they, they must be working on, uh, a, fi a fix for Catalina. Anyway, I thought it would be really good to show you how you can, che the, you, you can check what programs are in your on your computer uh, in terms of which bit, which is 64 bit and which are 32 bit. So I'm gonna use a little GoPro. First thing we have to do is we have to click on the little Apple logo and then we click on about this Mac. That will bring up this box here and then we need to click on system report. Now this is the system report down here. Now the reason I've loaded it now, it, it, it loads at the top here. What you need to do is you need to scroll down to software and applications and then click on that. And it takes a while, it takes probably about, um, anything up to about a minute and a half to um, load all of the software applications and then you can look through and see see I've got one there uh, my Adobe Flash Player um, is not 64 bits um, most of this other stuff seems to be okay so I've got quite a few bit, few bits of software um, so Good example there is Pace, Pacemaker is a really good bit of software. Um, now, there is no update to that um, because uh, the company went bust. Uh, now, the, the Pacemaker is a little, um, it's like a, a portable DJ set, very small. Uh, I tend to use it and it'll take any sort of file. And I've used it for gigs, uh, for playing like a, a backing track. So it's a great little bit of kit, but 
there won't there'll will never be a 64-bit version of that software so I either have to stay on Mojave or um, have another computer which has got pacemaker on uh, running just the 32-bit so I hope that was useful current advice generally is do not upgrade to Catalina when it comes out next month uh, certainly wait till you've heard from all of the software suppliers that you regularly use um, and we are talking predominantly about music technology software here um, and oh, clearly these companies are, are, are playing catch up now so I'm assuming that they've got early beta versions of Catalina so that they can work on but it's going to take them some time to actually get up to up to speed with this sort of thing anyway thanks so much for watching if you like what I do hit the subscribe button um, there's loads of other content and if you like this video hit the like and share by all means share it with other people I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks, thanks very much. Bye bye. One pound donation to. Uh